I'm Matt from Production Audio Video Technology and welcome to our series of instructional videos on symmetric SimNet programming using SimNet Composer. In this introductory video, I'm going to familiarize you with the Open Architecture DSP programming environment inside Composer software. When first opened and with no file loaded, Composer presents a standard set of toolbar menus and icons. Also shown are the toolkit, shown on the left, and an audio meter bar and an online status indicator, both seen on the right. All these elements are completely customizable. You can choose to dock, or float, resize, or completely hide any of these to suit your preferred workflow. To begin working, I'm going to start a new site file by selecting File, New from the menu. The first view we are presented with here is called the Site View screen, and it's where we place SimNet hardware units from the toolkit. For example, I'm going to build a site file that includes a radius unit, plus an XIN expansion unit. Optionally, we can also place graphical representations of other system elements onto the site view. Pre-prepared icons are provided, as well as the ability to place text blocks and custom images. In this way, a full system schematic can be built up inside the site view. Here's an example I prepared earlier. In this tutorial, we want to get straight into the audio programming though. So by double-clicking on the radius in the site view, we will be taken into the design view. Inside the design view, we can see the DSP blocks associated with the physical inputs and outputs. We also have a diagnostics module, which when connected to a unit, provides useful information regarding its status. The final module seen here is the selected wire audio module, which provides an audio output point for whichever wire in the design view is currently selected. This is very useful for commissioning and troubleshooting, but more on this in future videos. For this example, I'm going to propose that I have 8 microphones as well as a couple of stereo input sources. For outputs, I'm going to drive a stereo front of house system, plus a mono speech system, and a hearing augmentation system. I'll now label my inputs and outputs by opening up the individual processing blocks and editing the labels. Now, if I go back to the site view, you'll notice that the input and output labels are carried through. Back inside the design view, we can start to add some DSP modules to our design. For microphones, I might add some parametric EQ, uh, dynamics control, and then run into an auto mixer. I'll need an 8 channel auto mixer for 8 microphones. Because I'm feeding a number of different outputs, I'll also want a matrix mixer in my signal flow. I'll use a stereo mixer with 3 inputs and 3 outputs. For the mic channels, I need to add more processing blocks, so I can either drag more from the toolkit, use copy and paste commands, or use the duplicate command, which is shortcut Control D. Once placed on the canvas, I'm free to move selected modules around by just clicking and dragging. To move multiple modules, the Control click will select multiples, and lasso select by clicking in a blank area and dragging. Dragging left to right selects even partially enclosed objects, while dragging right to left selects only fully enclosed objects. Now I'm ready to add wires to establish my signal flow. Start a wire by hovering over a circular wiring node on a module, and click to start the wire. Drag the wire to its destination and click again to complete the wire segment. If the input and output to be connected are not in a straight line from one another, we have two options. Either make right angle bends or trace a diagonal path. Note that to make diagonal wires, I have to turn off the no diagonal wires mode from the tools menu. I'm going to use right angle wires for this demo, so I'll quickly make all the rest of the connections so we can move on. If I want to wire two or more nodes from one module to another, I can wire multiples by holding down a modifier key before I start a wire. Notice the tooltip when I hover over a wiring node. Hold down a number key to wire that many nodes, or hold down the A key to wire all nodes in a module. In this example, I can hold down either A 
or 4 to wire all outputs of input block C into my matrix mixer. If I'm not happy with my wires, I can select either all or part of a wire segment to move or delete. Control click will select multiple wire segments and shift click will select an entire length of wire segments. Control and shift plus click will select multiple complete wire segments. To finish off my signal flow, I'm going to add some output processing. The modules I'll insert will provide some equalization and level control, plus some limiting for good measure. I'll complete my wiring now, so my basic site file is complete. So take a look at our other videos in this series to see how you can improve the appearance and the DSP efficiency of your designs.